I have had 29 plus years of getting to know my brother, but in the four and a half years I've had the pleasure of knowing you, Kirsten, one thing that is abundantly clear is that you are Julian's equal in terms of the quality of your soul and your capacity for love. I've seen Kirsten pick my brother up from the depths of depression and hardship as he struggled in the years following the loss of our mother, a pain that she also shares from the loss of her brother, Eric. Kirsten, when I hear you talk about your brother, it usually is a story of you two getting into trouble when you were younger, sometimes tearful, but always ending with a smile. I imagine your brother being here today, who would have likely been apprehensive of Julian at first, I mean, who wouldn't? But eventually he would have been won over by Julian's sense of humor, his love, and his obsession for Kevin James. Julian, I know mom never had a chance to meet Kirsten, which seems so unfair because I think they would have become fast friends. After mom passed away, I remember worrying about you a lot, who you were going to become in a world without your mother. You struggled and you struggled for years. Then I remember meeting Kirsten at my wedding and thinking that things were going to be all right. Things would be better than all right because I like to think that you found a piece of mom in Kirsten who beams with light and love much like mom did. Our mother could not be prouder of the woman that you've chosen to spend the rest of your life with. From the moment I swiped right, I knew you were, <laughs> knew you were the one. No. Um, but honestly, I knew you were the one about two months after we started dating. And I'm pretty sure all of your Baltimore friends still make fun of me for saying that to this day. Um, but there was always something different about you. In the past four years, I've witnessed you, you change and grow so drastically. And I am so proud of the person. You are today the person you grew from and the person you're, you will become. And I'm proud of the person I've become with you. I told you this on the night I proposed, but I'm pretty sure you just blacked out those two minutes when I actually did propose. So I'll just uh, refresh your memory. Um, but I knew I was gonna marry you for four years. Maybe a little more. Um, I remember the moment I was, we were leaving Courtney's wedding and we stopped to visit my mom's grave. And uh, we were dating for a couple of months now, and, but you just, we were standing out there and you asked to be alone with her. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay. So I went and I sat and I watched through the car window as you just hung out with my mom. And like eight seconds later, I'm like, oh, well, there she is. <laughs> I'm gonna marry this girl. They were visiting us from Baltimore and I was just trying to get some of the trash out and I came across, it's a true story, I came across five or six, I think it was Burger King. Was it Burger King? It was gift cards for five hours. And I'm like, this dude must like Burger King. I mean, who? And then afterwards I found out, she said, no, I said, Julie, you gotta, she said, no, dad, they're for the homeless people. Julian gives them to them as they, he doesn't want to give him money to get in trouble. He gives him five dollars. I'm better since I've known you. You and I have had some deep conversations, my man. Yes. This man's on a path. And Kirsten, my God, you're my life. Uh, Julian, I was talking to Lindsay today in court, and, I, and she said, we have an angel watching from above. And I said, are you kidding me, above? Your mother's here. With the, with the love that I see with your family. And your, your brother is here. As one of the greatest teachers of our generation said, I believe when you find love, you hold on to it and cherish it because there's nothing finer and it may never come again. Thank you, Mr. Feeney. <laughs> When Kirsten brought Julian home to this luxurious apartment on Hicks, <laughs> I immediately knew that he was it. 
within 20 minutes of knowing you, Julian, I wanted to hug you and call you my best friend. <laughs> Julian, you're a light in all of our lives. Watching you love Kirsten has been one of my greatest privileges. Julian is one of the most caring and compassionate people I've ever met. He uh, lifts everybody up around him. He's a great friend, and at the drop of a hat, he'll do anything to help anybody. Uh, I love him like a brother. And that's why I was so overjoyed when I first met Kirsten. She's equally as caring and compassionate. She's smart, beautiful, funny. I love you both. I wish you the best of luck in this next adventure. Cheers to you guys. be at the center of everything I do and I promise we'll live a full, loving, happy, exciting, and badass, adventurous life. I'll always love you. I always have loved you. And uh, now we're just making this official. So 